Well, all night we have been keeping an eye on the numbers going back and forth between Prosser and Joanne Kloppenberg. At around 1.15 this morning, she came out and spoke with her supporters. After learning the race is simply too close to call, Kloppenberg addressed her crowd gathered at the Edgerton. I want to just thank you all for all the hard work, all your enthusiasm, all your hope, all your energy, all the good energy you've brought tonight. It's not over yet. We're still hopeful. What we've ended up with is the closest state Supreme Court race in history, and or at least in modern history where we had any number of people voting. Uh, it's a remarkable result when you consider the intensity and passion on both sides. And it guarantees something. There will be a recount. There's no doubt. When you have that passion on both sides, there's close a result. There are a few precincts still left to be counted, including one precinct out of Dane County that will likely lead to an automatic recount. Bottom line is that uh, we're going to have an uncertain Supreme Court race, probably for at least a month, maybe longer. After a heated race, this campaign says it isn't giving up. So thank you all, and let's all get a good night's sleep and see what tomorrow brings. Thank you. At the Kloppenberg campaign headquarters in downtown Madison, I'm Maria Guerrero for News 3 This Morning.